Hello, what we're going to do is continue moving forward with writing linear equations uh, for this, this particular unit. So far we've covered how to find slope, how to define slope as rise over run, how to write equations in slope-intercept form, how to identify slope and y-intercept from slope-intercept form. We've talked about standard form and, uh, and we can write equations in standard form and work with standard form as well with the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and the slope. So now what we're going to do is put together pretty much everything that we know about writing linear equations. Okay, so this is, uh, this is a big deal for writing linear equations. I'm going to show you two different methods to write linear equations. The first method is one we already used using slope-intercept form. The second method is using another form called point-slope form. And when we're finished writing the equation, we're going to make sure that it is in standard form to finish everything up. We're going to make sure that the equation that we have is in standard form. All right, so this is, this is everything. This one question uh, encompasses most things. Okay, so uh, this is the big deal. So just like before, if the instructions read to write an equation, we still need two things. Hopefully you remember what those two things are if we're writing equations. Those two things are a slope and a point. And if we have a slope and a point, we can write any equation of a linear function of a line. So we look at the question that we have in front of us, right, the equation in standard form of a line passing through these two ordered pairs. Now we're not given a slope, but just like before in a previous video on advanced slope intercept form, we can find the slope given those two ordered pairs. So the first thing we need to do is find the slope. And the way we find slope is through the change in y over the change in x. So we have to take a look at the y coordinates and subtract them. Negative 3 minus negative 5. So we have negative 3 minus negative 5. And we're going to put that over the change in x. So we have our two x coordinates. 2 minus negative 2. So we have our x coordinates. 2 minus negative 2. We have to be careful with our signs. All right, so we have on the top negative 3 minus negative 5 turns into negative 3 plus 5, which is positive 2. And then at the bottom, we have 2 minus negative 2, that is positive 4. So we have our slope is 2 over 4, but remember with slope, we must always simplify our slope. So the slope that we're going to use is positive 1 half. So the slope that we're going to use is positive one half. So now, remember we need a slope and a point. So we go back to our equations, or the question, we go back to the question, we see we have two ordered pairs. We now have a slope. We can use either ordered pair for our point. I'll just use the first ordered pair just because. So we'll use the first ordered pair of two negative three. And now from here, I'm gonna show you two different ways to write our linear equation. Okay, so we have, uh, from previous notes, we had a way that we could use y equals mx plus b. And in those previous notes, we knew we had a y, an m, and an x, and the only thing we needed to find was the b. So we're going to do just that. So we know that we have a y, it comes from our y coordinate, negative 3. We know we have an m, m is the slope, that's 1 half. We know we have an x, comes from the x coordinate of 2, and all we need to do is use that information to find our b. So we start crunching numbers. We have negative 3 equals 1 half times 2 is 1 plus b. And to solve for b, we will subtract 1 on both sides, and we discover that b is equal to negative 4. Now with this piece of information, we have to remember what we do, we still have to write our equation, y equals mx plus b. So we write our equation, y equals, the m is 1 half, the x, and then our b is negative 4. So we have our equation this way. This is one way to write our equation. Now I know the directions say it's standard form, 
I will get to that later. I'm going to pause here on this, on this method. Now I'm going to show you a different method. Some of you that are working in the textbook have discovered this method, and that's using what's called point-slope form. Now point-slope form is a formula that, that's on all the reference sheets and in the textbook and that will help you write equations if you have a point and a slope. That's why they call it point-slope form. Point-slope form operates like this. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And just like slope-intercept form, normally the y stays y, the x stays x. These things stay the same. Okay, y will stay y, x stays x. The y1 comes from the ordered pair. The x1 comes from the ordered pair. Okay, so the first y stays, the first x stays, the m, of course, is slope, that hasn't changed. The y1 comes from the ordered pair. The x1 comes from the ordered pair. And that's how we use point slope form. So again, if you've been working in the textbook, that's another method that we can use to write the equation. We will eventually get to the same, the same equation that we had before. This is just another way, okay? Just another way. It doesn't matter which way you use. So we will use point slope form. The y minus is part of the equation. The y1 comes from the ordered pair. The equal sign, of course, is there. Our slope, of course, is still 1 half. And then we have x minus, which stays the same, and our x1 coming from the ordered pair. So we have our point slope set up. All we have to do now is simplify all of this. So all we have to do now is simplify all of this. The first thing that we can simplify is this minus minus. Okay, so minus minus is plus. So we have y plus 3. Minus minus is plus y plus 3. Now what we can do is use the distributive property. 1 half times x is 1 half x. And 1 half times minus 2. 1 half times 2 is 1. So 1 half times minus 2 is minus 1. I forgot my x. So don't forget the x. I almost forgot the x. So we use the distributive property. And all we have to do now is continue to simplify. So we can get the y by itself by subtracting 3 on both sides. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have y equals 1 half x minus 4. And that's just another method that we can use to get the same equation. Okay, so we can either use y equals mx plus b like we've done before, or we can use the point-slope formula. It does not matter which method you use, as long as you are reading the directions. <coughs> now the directions read, write the equation in standard form. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have our equations. We have to make sure that they are in standard form. So we have our original equation. But we need to write it in standard form. Remember what standard form is. Ax plus by equals c. And remember the two rules for standard form. No fractions. And a must be positive. OK, so we have to remember our two rules for standard form. So we have to make this equation look like this. It's just like the previous video. We can't have any fractions. A must be positive. So the first thing we're going to do to follow our directions is to get rid of the fraction. Remember how we clear fractions. We multiply everything by the denominator. So just like in the previous video, we're going to multiply everything by the denominator so we can have no fractions. So we end up with 2y. Now all of this mess will lead just to 1x. And then 2 times 4 is 8, so we have minus 8. Okay, we no longer have any fractions. All of our fractions are gone. Now we have to put it in the order of ax plus by equals c. We have to undo the term with the x. So we can subtract 1x, subtract 1x. Now from here, I'm going to be done calling this 1x. I'm going to become professional. We'll just call it minus x. We don't need to call it 1x. It's just minus x. 
Then we have a positive 2y. And then we have our equal sign, and we're left with minus 8. Okay, so we've subtracted the 1x on both sides, and this is what we have. But remember the second rule for standard form. The second rule is a must be positive. So just like before, we can change all the signs. And when we change all the signs, we'll see a will now be positive. So we have positive x minus 2y equals positive 8. And take a look. That is in standard form. Okay, so we have our equation in standard form. And that is how we write equations in standard form. And now we can tell all sorts of things about this line. We could find the x-intercept. We could find the y-intercept. We can find the slope. And all of this information all from standard form. Thank you.